with you the top 10 reasons that I love being a teacher. We're wasting time. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I'm Allie Mack and I am a teacher and I'm here to help you have the best school year ever. So if you watched my previous video, you saw where I shared the dark side or dark side effect to being a teacher. I figured I wanted to bring a lot of positivity to the profession because there are way more positives to being a teacher than negatives. So I have created a list of my top 10 favorite things about being a teacher to bring some positivity back to this channel. So without further ado, in no particular order, let's get into my top 10 favorite reasons of why I love being a teacher. I figure number one on this list is the most obvious. We get to hang out with amazing children all day long. We get to socialize, we get to participate in activities we've created, and we get to see those light bulbs go off and we get to see those children grow as individuals and students. Number two on this list is we get to be creative. In most districts and in most content areas, we get to decide how we deliver the lessons. So we can show silly videos, we can do a lot of fun hands-on activities, we can get the students up and moving and dancing. We get to be creative on how we deliver the content. And as Mr. Real Rap with Reynolds would say, we get to sprinkle our magic amongst our lessons. And even if you work in a district where they give you scripted lesson plans, you still can sprinkle that magic where you can find it. The third item on this list is that most teachers work from 7.30 to 3.30 as far as FaceTime and being on campus. Now, we do put in a lot of hours outside of those times, but as far as being up there, clocked in on the job, it's usually between 7.30 and 3.30 depending on your school. But it's about, you know, just, it might be off by a little bit, but for the most part, that is what we are required as far as FaceTime. I would like to add that even though we work at home, we can still watch TV, we can still get up and drink and go to the bathroom when we need to, so it doesn't feel as bad as when you're on campus. And most teachers that do this job love what we do, so it does not feel like work a lot of the time. Now, it might be a little different if we have meetings scheduled prior to school or after school, but I mean, I love meeting with parents. I love getting to know where this child has come from, what their family is like. I like meeting them. So to be honest, that's really not work for me. Not to mention, we also get the holidays off. We get weekends off and we get pretty good sized breaks. I know where I live, we get Mardi Gras holidays as well. So we get, we work Monday through Friday, we get holidays and weekends off. And that's pretty awesome, I must say. And did I mention summer's off? Hello! Now many of us teachers like to level up over the summer and we go to conferences and workshops and things like that. But usually that's by choice. You could say no, but a lot of us don't wanna miss out on those awesome opportunities. Number four on this list, we get amazing benefits. We get health, vision, dental, life insurance. We get a retirement plan. I know when I signed up, when I started my first year of teaching, they told me that I could retire after 25 years of service if I chose. Now the group that came in after me have to go till 30, but technically I could retire in 15 years with this profession if I stick with it. So that's pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Number five on this list, we get to work with amazing people, whether it be our coworkers, administrators, um, parents that come and talk with us. We work with a variety of amazing people, from people that are expertise in different content areas. Um, Every time I work with a new person closely, I learn so many different things from them, and it's gold to me. I treat it as gold. You never feel alone if you get out of that classroom and go interact with your coworkers. Not to mention, if you're introverted like me, Hanging out with the kids is just enough. It's just what I need most of the time. Number six on this list, normal school days are never boring. This is one of the few jobs where I don't keep looking at the clock saying, okay, three more hours till I get to leave. Okay, two more hours till I get to leave. The day is over before you even realize it. Time goes by so fast. So this job is never boring. 
Number seven on this list, we get to watch our students level up right before our eyes. We get to see them grow. We get to see them become smarter and have really amazing conversations with these children. We just get to see them evolve. And it's so amazing because we had a hand in that. You know how amazing that is? That's one of the most amazing feelings in the world. Number eight, and this, this might be, I don't know, but we get to decorate our classrooms. So many videos on YouTube are dedicated to classroom setups and everybody watched the mess out of these videos. We love seeing people decorate their rooms. We love decorate our rooms. We love coming up with themes. I know one year I had a whole Alice in Wonderland theme and it was just so amazing. Like I had, I had cards everywhere. I had um, characters guarding my door. I had, you know, and I, in fact, I think it said we're painting the roses red in fourth grade. So we get to come up with all these creative themes. We get to be creative with our classrooms and set it up for students. And what can I say? It's really fun to decorate your classroom. Number nine on this list. Sometimes you can work in a school district that will pay for you to go to amazing places to attend workshops. I know people in my district have been places like San Antonio, Texas and Boston, Massachusetts. I didn't get to go, but I could have if I wanted to and if my personal life would have meshed well with this schedule. So that's pretty awesome and the people that attended enjoyed it so much. So that's pretty cool. Number 10 on this list, we get to brag about being a teacher. Out of all the things I have worked hard for and accomplished, being a licensed teacher with a job is my most proud moment. When people ask me, what do you do for work? I get to brag and boast and say, I am a teacher. I teach an amazing group of seventh grade students, or I get to teach an amazing group of kindergartners, or I teach an amazing group of whatever subject. And I know a lot of people think that teachers don't get the respect that they deserve. That is not among the community as I've seen. Anytime I tell people that I'm a teacher and I teach, they are always, oh my goodness, I could never do that. You are so amazing. That seems like such a great job. The only time I don't feel like we're appreciated is within the school district. People who know what we do, those are the ones that don't appreciate us and our work. And it's not everywhere, but it is it is there. And also, of course, lawmakers and people who fund education. I don't feel like they appreciate us. But as far as the community and people I encounter on a daily basis, they appreciate us. They appreciate teachers. And it's so fun to brag about that. I know I promised I was going to keep this list to 10, but there are some honorable mentions I would like to point out. One, when you go to a football game. <laughs> Everybody comes up to you, says hello, they want to speak to you, they want to meet everybody that you're with. You feel like a celebrity in your community. Another honorable mention is, I know that at my particular school district, they have a clinic for teachers and their families. So anytime you have like a mild, like a sickness, like a cold, something like that, you can go and get treated for free. I guess this is the way the district wants you to stay at work and be there. But either way, it's an amazing perk. I haven't really had to pay for anything medical related too bad because everything that my kids or family have is something to do with, you know, a common cold or nothing that serious. So that has to be mentioned as an awesome perk of this job too. I do want to point out though that this is the only school I've worked in where this was a perk. This doesn't come with every school district, but there are school districts out there that do this. Another honorable mention is sometimes you'll get discounts on things you purchase. I know Arby's gives teachers a 10% discount and other places I've been give you a discount just because you are a teacher. Now, if you are gonna try to get a discount by saying you're a teacher, just keep in mind, you usually have to have proof. So nice try if you just wanna say you're a teacher and get the discounts. Huh, doesn't work like that. ID badge, hello. I would like to add that when I surveyed my Twitter, the people that responded, their main thing, their favorite part about being a teacher was the fact the kids. 
the relationships you build with the kids, getting to see former students, getting to see them later in life, and them hugging you and telling you how much they love seeing you. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. And if you did, please share it with someone that you think it would benefit as well. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Oh, come on. You know you want to subscribe. Please subscribe. I'll wait. Okay. Don't forget to leave a comment down below telling me what you think or tell me what your favorite thing about being a teacher is. And if you're not a teacher, will you please comment below which perk or which positive thing was the most surprising to you? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. You all have an amazing day. Goodbye.